was born in 1949. Um, she, she had a very unhappy childhood actually. Um, and when I was younger, she used to tell me, she used to tell me little bits about it. Um, not huge details, but just little bits that, that she could remember. When my mother was about five, um, she was sent to the Bernardo's children's home. Um, and subsequently she was adopted when she was about six or seven, something like that. I started looking for my mum and I, or, or my mum's mother, um, and I couldn't find anything. And I thought, well, she was adopted, so I, I, I shan't find anything. There, there won't be any details. So I widened my horizon slightly and I, 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 I just increased the search area. So instead of looking for a specific village, I looked county size in, instead. Um, and uh, on this particular day, uh, I was looking and a name came up and it was the same name and the dates sort of fitted roughly. So the lady that I'd found, um, I set up a new tree on, uh, on Find My Past and very quickly looking at the, the older census, um, 1901 and 11, um, I was able to build up a, a picture of, of her family. The 1921 census solved all my problems. It uh, it answered all my questions. I looked at, at one of the one of the names on the tree, and uh, I looked at the 1921 census. And he was living in some farm buildings that my mother and I had driven past about 20 years ago. And my mother had said to me, "I was born there." It was quite late at night actually when I when I saw that. And by the time I'd finished. Um, you know, looking looking at the names who were in this um, in this uh, at this address already, it, it, it was pretty late, and uh, I didn't sleep that well actually because I was so excited because I realised that I'd, I'd actually found some some tangible information that that said to me that yes, she was at that address or at least her family were connected to that address. If my mum hadn't given me that information, I I still wouldn't have known. It was actually very emotional. Um, it. Uh, well, it made me weep actually. I, I couldn't quite believe what I was seeing. Finding her um, has has kind of changed everything, and I and I've been I've I've been at it like a like a dog with a bone, really. You know, I'm not giving up on this one. But as a as a youngster, I I didn't like her because she get she gave up her children, and what kind of mother does that? Well, as an adult with my own children, it, to me, it's somebody who's in you know real desperate need. Um, and, and had to make some really hard decisions in life. And the fact then that later on she did try and make contact with my mum says to me that actually she's not such a bad woman. Um, and the fact that she is related to me, she's a blood relative of me, I, I can't think that badly of her. I, I think she, as much as my mum had a tough time, I think she had a tough time as well.